See how Accra, Ghana is becoming the fastest developing city in Africa. Accra is the economic and administrative hub of the Greater Accra region, as well as the anchor of the Greater Accra metropolitan area, Gama, which has a population of around 4 million people and is Africa's 13th largest metropolitan area. Accra was designated a Gamma-level global metropolis by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network in 2020, indicating an increasing level of global impact and connectedness. It is home to important government and non-government ministries, insurance companies, bank headquarters, and large markets that import the vast majority of the world's food supply. Accra has a land area of 225.67 square kilometers, or 87.13 square miles, and a population of 4.2 million people. In 2020, it is divided into 12 local government districts, 11 municipal districts, and the Accra Metropolitan District, the only district with city status in the capital. Accra was formed by the merger of various towns centered on British Fort James, Usher Fort, and Danish Fort Christiansborg as Jamestown, Usher Town, and Christiansborg, respectively, and served as the capital of the British Gold Coast between 1877 and 1957. The architecture of the capital reflects its history, from 19th century colonial architecture to modern skyscrapers and residential towers. In today's video, we'll look at how Accra is quickly becoming Africa's most developed city. We will base this development on factors such as economic growth, infrastructure development, industrial growth, cost of living, tourism, and so on. Please subscribe as we ride along. Geography of Accra Because of its location in the Dahomey Gap, where the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean coast run parallel to the prevailing moist monsoonal winds, Accra has a very marginal hot semi-arid climate that borders on a tropical wet and dry climate. In Ghana, the average annual rainfall is around 730 millimeters, with the majority of it falling during the two rainy seasons. The primary rainy season lasts from April to mid-July, with a second, weaker rainy season beginning in October. Rain often falls in short, intense storms, causing local flooding and clogging drainage canals. The temperature varies very little throughout the year. The average monthly temperature ranges from 25.9 degrees Celsius in August to 29.6 degrees Celsius in March, with an annual average of 27.6 degrees Celsius. The humidity level is higher in the colder months than in the warmer months. As a result, during the summer months, the city experiences a breezy dry heat, particularly during the windy Harmattan season, which feels cooler than the cooler but more humid rainy season. Because Accra is so close to the equator, daylight hours are nearly constant year-round. The relative humidity is high, ranging from 65% during the day to 95% at night. The main wind direction in Accra is from the WSW to the NNE. The average wind speed ranges from 8 to 16 km per hour. Thunderstorms generate strong wind gusts that travel along the coast in squalls. Accra has the highest recorded wind speed of 107.4 km per hour, or 58 knots. Economy of Accra In 2008, the World Bank estimated that Accra's economy accounted for only about 3 billion US dollar of Ghana's total GDP. The economically active population of Accra is expected to be 823,327 people. Accra's major industries include manufacturing, marketing, banking, insurance, and transportation. Accra's economy is made up of primary, secondary, manufacturing, power, gas, water, and construction, and tertiary sectors, supermarkets, shopping malls, hotel, restaurant, transportation, storage, communication, financial intermediation, real estate service, public administration, education, health, and other social services. Tertiary services, which employs approximately 531,670 people, is the city's main industry. The secondary industry is the second largest, 
employing 22.34% of the workforce, or approximately 183,934 people. Unemployment in the city is estimated to be 12.2% of the workforce, or 114,198 people. Industrial growth. Ghana was the world's seventh largest gold producer in 2019, producing 140 tons. Ghana's output surpassed South Africa's for the first time, establishing Ghana as Africa's leading gold producer. In addition to gold, Ghana exports silver, lumber, diamonds, bauxite, and manganese, and it has numerous untapped mineral reserves. In terms of diamond exports and reserves, Ghana ranks ninth in the world. Ghana's government has proposed nationalizing the country's mining industry in order to increase government revenue. Because Accra is Ghana's economic and administrative center, all of the country's industrial successes can be attributed to her as she plays a significant role in the development of the country's industries. Infrastructural Development Ghana's economy has expanded steadily over the last two decades, with improvements in nearly every sector. Poverty has fallen to 24.3%, a 4.2 percentage point decrease from the previous figure. Despite these achievements, the economy is still beset by gaps in both economic and social infrastructure, which has slowed the economy's rate of progress. Despite this, Accra's infrastructure development is outpacing that of other major African cities, such as Addis Ababa and many others. It is safe to say that Ghana is currently carrying out development projects in Accra that will propel the country's economy to new heights by 2030. Tourism in Accra Accra is a bustling modern metropolis where the streets smell delicious foods and the ocean invites you to relax. You'll find everything you need, from a bustling local cultural scene with traditional song and dance to sophisticated clubs with the newest live music. There are traditional crafts as well as cutting-edge contemporary fashions. The Dutch, British, and Danish influences of the city blend with its West African heritage to create an unforgettable experience. Visit the Ghana National Museum, the Accra Arts Center, and the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum for Artisan Crafts. Bojo Beach and Lambati Beach are just two of the many beaches near Accra that offer clear waters and activities like horseback riding and surfing. Cost of living in Accra. As in most countries, the cost of living varies greatly depending on location and lifestyle choices. Accra has the most expensive lodging. Some development agencies provide a $3,000 monthly rent allowance, which is insufficient. You can live for less if you're young, healthy, and don't need the Western way of life. If you don't mind living without air conditioning or electricity for long periods of the day, in a neighborhood with some noise and dust, and with no official security, you can live quite cheaply. Another option is to share housing. Dividing the rent of a three-bedroom apartment in three equals approximately $1,200 per month per person. Regrettably, landlords now demand a one-year rent deposit, and certain living expenses are exorbitant. For example, electricity recently increased by 75%, and you may have to pay to have water delivered to your home during the dry season. Cuisine and Nightlife in Accra Accra, Ghana, has a lot to offer visitors, but the nightlife scene is especially appealing to partygoers. The vibrant nightlife scene combines African and European cultures. Accra has something for everyone, whether you want a quiet lounge with an intimate atmosphere or a wild night out on the town. To name a few, the Zen Garden, Inside Carbon Nightclub, and Champ Sports Bar and Grill are all located here. Gendin cuisine has mastered the art of transforming everyday ingredients into sublime delicacies that have become staples in the Gendin diet. Chefs all over the world are praising their brilliant Gendin brothers and sisters for upping their culinary game and serving up dishes that are as appealing as they are delectable. Culture Accra is known for its many historical and cultural sites. The Du Bois Center, for example, contains a research library 
and a manuscript gallery, as well as the graves of scholar W.E.B. Du Bois and his wife Shirley Graham Du Bois. The Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum is the final resting place of Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah, who advocated Pan-Africanism and oversaw the Gold Coast's independence from Britain. Ghana's National Symphony Orchestra performs at Accra's National Theatre. Accra also has the National Museum and the National Theatre, both of which feature eye-catching modern Chinese architecture. The Usher and James Forts, as well as Asu Castle, also known as Christiansborg, were built by Danish settlers in the 17th century in the Jamestown area. The Ghana Parliament House, the Ghana India Kofi Annan Center of Excellence in ICT, Black Star Square, the Accra Sports Stadium, and the Accra Center for National Culture are all worth seeing. The African Fashion Foundation, based in Accra, provides assistance to the African fashion industry, particularly in Ghana. Accra has an Atlantic beachfront, with the most popular being Lambati Beach, as well as Cockerbite Beach, which is 25 kilometers, 16 miles, west of Accra. The Academy of African Music and Arts is also near the beach. It is important to note that these historical sites play an important role in the growth of the nation because tourists flock to the city to visit these sites. Ghana has taken it upon herself in recent years to carry out development projects that will bring the country to the same level of development as other countries such as Nigeria and Kenya. Because Accra is the country's capital, it is only natural that these initiatives begin there. Stay tuned to Africa Reloaded for more exciting and thrilling videos.